Okay, now we are going to make our second part, and that is this part, okay, T of the month, with our images, images, below it will be text, and also it will be like this, not from the left to right, but centered, like wrapped from the flexbox. Later on we will add this part, this was the hardest part for me to do, contacts it's like you don't need to add any CSS to this and footer but it will be in the third part of our tutorial because it, will it, it would be too long for me to do it together. Okay, so let's begin. Um, below our div we have, we say div class featured. No, we want it to be anchored id, sorry, id featured that it's featured okay we are adding our headers t of the month now we have h2 that will say what's steeping at the at the t cozy okay So that is our ID part. When we click on our mi mission, uh, sorry, when we click on our featured in our navigation bar, it will send us here. Now below it, we say <coughs> div class um, trend container, for example, trend container. And we say div class trend. Okay. In our trend, we will have our pictures. Sorry, I didn't explain wh what I'm doing. Okay, so we first made our, let's see here, we first made our h1 and h2. And below this, we are going to make trend container. This is trend trend container with these images and every tr uh, inside of that trend, trend container we are going to have our little boxes with images and it will say trend this is trend 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 okay so first trend it is our image we are going to have source let's see let's see fall berry blitz t berry blitz open this then up oh, sorry spiced room we don't have spiced room here it's dark for me so i click here and open image in a new tab then we have seasonal donuts where is donut here then we have a t okay bad for blizzard t here. Okay, so first image is this. Control C in the source. There you go. Below this image, let me show you. Below this image, we are having this part. Okay, I don't know if we have spe specifics for this. Let me check. Um, Okay, so we don't have uh, what kind of our um, fonts will be or headers, but I assume this is the same as this part. So let's just add H, what we had here, H2, yes. Yes, it was H2, H2, 
and we say um, berry blitz berry blitz berry blitz below it we are going to map I will um, I will just skip this part for you to not look at this boring part okay Come. Uh, this is our trend con trend container and it contains our images and our text below it okay so we made this possible but in order to look it like this we are going to add some CSS to our code okay on our right side we say dot trend container trend con container we say display display sorry inline flex max width is 100 1000 pixels they said i want that height is auto So it is proportional to that. When you say display inline flex, um, it is allowing your flex box to be in line with other flex boxes, if that makes sense. Okay. And when we make these adjustments, we can also say flex wrap, align items, and everything else. If we added in uh, just flex, it would it would not look like this we will uh, make this and then i will show you what happens if we say just inline flex okay uh, flex wrap wrap because we want our uh, images to go in another row if they don't have enough space uh, that is wrap align items is center we want them to be centered and justify content also center in our part where we say trend image for every image in our trend box in HTML for this image this image every image is selected from the trend class okay we say height 200 pixel width is 300 pixel they gave us this specifications and this is 10 pixel 10 pixel so we have also that in our spe specifications they wanted to have 10 pixels of padding from uh, the text to image and also we said 10 pixels between these images and if you see 10 pixel from here 10 pixel from here we have 20 pixel okay so some of our paddings between images are 20 pixel okay so let's go and save this and see how it looks like now Ta -da -da -da. this is it okay so we have our headers our images okay you can also add or say that our letters are too big for this okay so we just go and change our headers to be smaller i will skip this part for you okay Control c and now let's take a look how it looks so our text is a bit smaller now okay uh, I want to show you what happens if we say here flex just flex control save 
Now look at this. It is going to align with the left side. I don't know why, but if we say inline flex, it will be <laughs> centered. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but when I was trying this to be just flex box, it didn't want to work. So you say inline flex. You just have to uh, go around things that uh, are stopping you from doing what you want, okay? So this is centered again. Is this centered? Yes. I'm going to change something now. This is centered, yes. <laughs> so that is the part about the uh, trend container, okay? 